the Croak is a completely new car, which parks in the spot vacated by the weird and wonderful Yeti. So it's a mid-size crossover which shares its building blocks with the seat ka and, along with the seat, it'll compete with the Nissan Kashi ka and a million cars like it. It's slightly longer, wider and roomier than the Yeti, and X inherits a new family face from the bigger Kodiak. Skoda's naming strategy involves an Alaskan island and the linguistic workout, so we'll ignore it. Will we miss the Yeti? Of course, with its love it or hate it looks and share usefulness, it's always been a TG favorite. But let's not get too nostalgic. Over the years it grew from a four-eyed oddity with a back-to-basics appeal into something much more mainstream. It even started to look sensible. The crook goes further. You could almost say it's business-like, with pressed shirt styling, upmarket materials and a decent spread of technology, though of obviously the price quickly rises as you ransack the options list. There's a choice of four engines and four trims, which you can pretty much mix and match as you wish. There's a pair of petrol turbos to start with, a 1.0-liter and a 1.5-liter, followed by the diesels, a 1.6-liter and a 2.0-liter. You can add an automatic DSG gearbox to any of those, now with paddles behind the steering wheel rather than having to rely on the gear stick for manual selection, but four-wheel drive is reserved only for the 2.0 TDI. The first thing you notice in the Crick is how well it soaks up lumps and bumps and whatever else you happen to drive over. Even with the 18-inch wheels of our test car on Sicilian roads apparently last resurfaced by the Romans. When paired with one of the super quiet petrol engines, the Croak feels calm and under control. It's such a good standard setup, you wonder why you'd bother with the adaptive dampers. Or indeed with the 2.0 TDI DSG, the extra weight of the diesel engine, automatic box and 4WD feels clumpy compared to a simpler, front-wheel drive petrol model. There's plenty to like inside. The dashboard is designed around a central, glassy touchscreen, 8 inches as standard, 9.2 as an option. There are four infotainment systems, three of which have nav. Above the gear stick is another smart control panel, and from 2018 there will be an optional digital display to replace traditional dials. It's a very grown-up cabin, and even the entry-level version feels more expensive than it really is. You probably couldn't expect much more from a car for this money. It's not as boxy as the Yeti, but it's still usefully square and the boot is actually more spacious. The door bins each hold the 1.5-liter bottle of water, and the options list includes some mini rubbish bins with flip tops and little liners in which to dispose of your more organic waste. Things like chewing gum or banana skins, 